In a timid, clumsy biopic with a Holocaust shadow, Dame Helen gives another regal performance We got a tour of the new Lincoln Continental in the late 1990s, Maria Oltman, Mirren, runs a dress shop in Los Angeles. Sixty years earlier she fled her native Austria to escape Hitler's persecution of the Jews. Now in her eighties, and upon the death of her sister, she hopes to wrest some of her family's treasured paintings, including Gustav Klimt's 1907 portrait of Adele Blockbauer, also known as Woman in Gold, from an Austrian government that holds the works and won't relinquish them. The Austrians revere the painting as the Mona Lisa of Austria, but to Maria it is a picture of the beautiful aunt she loved and lost. She retains a young lawyer, Randall Schoenberg, Ryan Reynolds, in the seemingly chimerical pursuit of recovering her family trove. If they succeed, any number of other masterpieces might legally be returned to the heirs of their rightful owners. A reviewer of Woman in Gold, or of any ripped from yesteryear's headlines biopic, has to decide how much to reveal about a historical event whose particulars, plot, background, characters and resolution, can be found in 10 seconds on Wikipedia. But the film is so clumsy in its attempts at suspense, in forcing Maria and Randy to make so many despairing speeches at their long odds, that the triumphant outcome is never in doubt. If it were, why make the movie? A picture like this has to find life not in its big scheme but in the tension between its characters and their times, past and present.